In tonight's Central Florida's True Crime Files, murdered in her own home. This week marks one year since a woman from Orange County was discovered dead in her house in Union Park. And her killer is still out there. Fox 35 anchor Ray Vieta is live here in the studio tonight. And Ray, you spoke with her frustrated family. And it was an emotional interview, Luann and John. The Cruz family thinks about the 23-year-old every day. She was found in her own kitchen, shot in the head. There were no signs the shooter forced their way into the house, leading her loved ones to think whoever killed Killed her newer. That's the voice of Eliza Cruz, the way her family likes to remember her. The voicemail now in a teddy bear her niece plays with, a memento, a keepsake, a treasure to this family. We think about it every day. When I'm brushing my teeth, when I'm taking a shower, when I'm taking care of my daughter. The 23 year old was found shot in the head in her kitchen on August 23rd, 2021. It happened at her family's home on Flowers Point Lane in Union Park, Orange County. Investigators tell me there were no signs the shooter forced their way into the house. No witnesses either. Her sister Melanie rushed to the home as soon as she got the call and remembers seeing her body carried out. At that moment, everything just shut down and all I can scream was her name. Like, hoping that she would just get up and say, hey, I was just trying to get you guys' attention, you know? Like, I'm here. But that wasn't the case. Right now, there is no suspect information, but the Orange County Sheriff's Office says the investigation is still very much underway. All I can say is, I forgive you, but turn yourself in. Turn yourself in. Pay for what you did. And this mother feels robbed of milestones, of time with her daughter, of happiness. Eliza had just graduated cosmetology school in Rhode Island and wanted to own her own business. I, for one, will never see her get married. I, for one, will never see grandchildren from her. All that was ripped out of my life. One year later, and the pain just as sharp as the day it happened. It's an exhausting job to pull through everything and not collapse in a room and cry everything. That's a job that no mother, no parent should go through. The family is holding a vigil for Eliza on Saturday at a parking lot near the corner of South Goldenrod and Curryford Road. Crime Line is offering a reward for information that leads to an arrest. Lou?